Hello everyone, welcome back to another one of my haul videos. This is part of my summer 2017 haul. Um, I went through a couple of long boxes that I bought over the summer and I round up um, all of the amazing Spider-Mans that I bought. So that's why I'm kind of like tiling this summer haul video slash Amazing Spider-Man. Um, I show already uh, some other of the Spider-Mans that I bought um, in uh, the other whole videos I think uh, this is uh, everything that I have left uh, from that haul that I bought in this summer and um, here we go I'll try to not be too slow so you guys don't get too bored with too many Spider-Mans I love Spider-Man is one of my top favorite uh, uh, characters so and I'm trying to get uh, to get my run from 100 to 400 complete uh, I still have a lot to go but in the meantime I'm also finding as I found anything that it's prior 100 and it's in a good price and I'm in a decent shape I still got it something like this amazing spider-man number 40 uh, beautiful nice nice reading copy uh, it's a uh, nothing really outstanding but it's in a decent shape nice reading copy um, this in a very fine fine it will be too expensive for me to buy but this is a nice copy there's just one or two creases in the cover other than that it's all good still keeps good colors it's uh, it's really nice and it's really really cool there's this, there's the first part number 39 which is a very famous cover from John Romita with the Spider-Man where it's uh, the Green Goblin uh, pulling Spider-Man but this second uh, part we have here Spider-Man beating up the Green Goblin it's, it's just really really cool and then after that we have Amazing Spider-Man number 52 this is uh, it's a little bit of a side story this is uh, the first apparition of Robert Robertson the editor from Daily Bugle um, I didn't know that until I was just putting everything on my little comic book database. Uh, this is just a good copy. Uh, tons of creases. There's a big crease here, creases in the corner. But you know what? For the price, it was cheap. And still, uh, everything is attached, nothing missing. And there's no uh, bug bites or anything. No chirping or anything. So, yeah, it's as well. This is cool. It's, um, it's a pretty cool comic. Amazing Spider-Man 54. Here we have this looks a really nice cover um, on May on Spider-Man's arms, and then he's almost telling oh, telling to Doctor Octopus, "I'm gonna get you." Just really, really, really cool. Amazing Spider-Man number 61. Really nice cover. Uh, I, I really dig into this cover. Amazing Spider-Man trying to say one Stacy. I believe the other one is Captain Stacy. Nice cover. Uh, again, it's not the sharpest book, but it's really good. Nice reader copy. And um, still keeps all the scholars. It's, uh, it's really, really nice. Amazing Spider-Man number 62 in the hairs of Medusa. I would call this instead of the name, the name is Medusa. Um, I think they were trying to push in humans around this time. And um, no idea why she will appear in Amazing Spider-Man. But anyways, they did a little bit of a cameo. And it's pretty cool. I like the cover. I really dig the cover. If, if I ever get a higher grade of this, I would probably get it. Amazing Spider-Man number 65. This one is perfect. The only thing that I don't like is he has just a big crease here. But other than that, it's, it's really, really nice and sharp book. Um, I'll say it's a very popular cover when, when it comes to posters. I've seen this in different uh, frame uh, and posters. Um, stores, very, very common one. So when I saw it, I was like, yeah, got to have it. Amazing Spider-Man number 69. 
Spider-Man Battles the Kimping. This is an awesome cover. You can almost feel the pain of Spider-Man with uh, the Kimping just crushing out his hand. It's really, really, really cool. I really like this cover. John Romita, I, I just love him. Really did a nice job here. The next one I also like a lot. Missing Spider-Man number 75. I mean, John Romita could bring the feelings of Spider-Man really, really cool. I mean, here you can feel his pain. It's really, really awesome. Walking out, walking away from a body, laying down on the floor. Really, really nice. Nice sharpening book. Amazing Spider-Man number 86. One of the earliest apparitions of Black Widow as the Black Widow that we know it. Um, if uh, anybody of you have seen or read the first apparition of Black Widow in Tales of Suspense, I believe it is, with Iron Man. Um, yeah, nothing nothing to do with, uh, with the Black Widow that we know now. And um, yeah, really nice sharp book, keeps his whites a little bit, really cool. This I love it, I just got a habit, Amazing Spider-Man number 87 bright yellows it's just amazing I just like it the moment that I saw this one is like great I gotta have it I was very lucky uh, when my local LCS got a batch of a uh, couple of collections and they had Fantastic Fours uh, Thor's Spider-Man's and Daredevil and I had I now have quite a few Spider-Man's here Amazing Spider-Man number 92 with Iceman I don't know. I love this combo. I love this combination with these two guys. It's kind of it's the same as uh, Iron Man and Human Torch. I don't know if there's any comic where it's a Human Torch, Iceman, and Spider-Man on the same book. I'm gonna see if I can find if there's been uh, any tag team like that because that would be pretty cool. Amazing Spider-Man number 103 in Savage Land. There's an apparition of Kassar there. Pretty, pretty nice. Like that copy. This one is also another popular one that you can see around. Amazing Spider-Man 106. This cover is also very popular. Spider-Man on mask. Then we have Amazing Spider-Man number 109 with uh, Doctor Strange. This is a two-part story. And I'm really gonna look up for the next one because I really like it. This old cameos by other uh, characters, they're, they're pretty cool. I mean, I like them. It's not like that is now. It doesn't bring the, the new feeling here when you see cameos of other characters in the, in the comics right now. The old ones, they were always nice. Amazing Spider-Man number 115. Pretty cool cover. On May, pointing out a gun to Spider-Man. Who would have thought? But uh, really, really nice. I like it. And now we have Amazing Spider-Man number 131. The wedding of On May and Dr. Octopus. Not that it really happened, uh, but yeah. It's like, come on, Dr. Octopus? Yikes. But anyways, pretty cool. Nice sharp looking book. Amazing Spider-Man 145. This is the first part of the original Clone Saga. This is the story that brought out the first time the clone of Spider-Man. It also brought in the clone of Gwen Stacy. Um, pretty nice. Nice sharpening looking book. I have a couple more. I think I just missed one to have that saga complete. Amazing Spider-Man 156. The first apparition of Mirage. Poor guy, dead, shot dead, I think, and lousy, lousy character, but anyways, it's pretty cool. Amazing Spider-Man 157, got Dr. Octopus again, this guy really has something bad with Spider-Man, oh my god, I can see why they, they brought Dr. Octopus in, um, um, the saga of uh, Superior Spider-Man. Not my favorite villain for Spider-Man, but well handled. It. It's pretty cool. Amazing Spider-Man 158. 
got Amazing Spider-Man 214 with guest staring Namor. Nice comic, pretty cool. And then last but not least, we have Amazing Spider-Man number 243. The return of MJ to Spider-Man. I can't remember why she stopped appearing in Spider-Man. Um, but it was like about, what, two years or so? Or three, maybe more, since uh, MJ was, uh, appeared in any of the Spider-Man books. I don't have to look why, I can't remember, but uh, this is her return. It's an okay book. I was I was missing part of my run, so I just nab it. So that's it, guys. That's it for today. This was uh, a, a, a nice batch of Amazing Spider-Mans that I got. There's another batch of uh, Daredevil. That's probably going to be my next video. Pretty cool comics. And um, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. And hopefully you'll watch my next video. And you enjoy this one. Take care, guys. See you later.